Strong winds and torrential rain brought another battering to southern Indiana. The storms damaged property, snapped trees, and left thousands without electricity. News 10's Mike Grant reports in southern Knox County, it turned into one more marathon effort to put things back together again. The Hazelman home made it through the Wednesday night storm with just a few shingles torn off the roof. The garage, though, was left without any walls flattened in the yard. Loud roar and a big bang, and that was the end of it. Down the road, the Clark Farm lost part of the roof of the barn and had downed tree limbs all around the house. I happened to look out the door, and about that time, I, just for a few seconds, the wind got real, real strong and, and like a train track, a train on it, you know. Those few seconds turned to darkness for almost 2,000 wind energy customers. Along 241, Huge trees were uprooted and tore down electrical lines. So much water uh, in our in our the ground is so soft, and the wind uh, just took those trees from all the way across the highway. This has been quite a spring for this area between the floods and everything else. And the fact is, folks here are ready for some sunshine and some nice weather. They get rid of this. It's time to move out of here. The impact, though, of the recent storm will linger for a while. Heavy rainfall still coming out of the fields. Buildings are still shattered and will have to be rebuilt. But the plus side is that all of the damage is only about stuff. Everybody hates to lose anything, but still got the wife and the girls. That's all I need. In Knox County, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. Power problems were not just limited to Knox County. Officials say the storm knocked out electricity to large portions of Lawrenceville, Montgomery, and Shoals.